when you come back to a track that you did so well at last time in a hot seat ride it's gonna feel so good when you come back with your own truck for another team we are here at Iowa Speedway and we're about to go short track racing it's just everybody doesn't like us at the moment so we're gonna have to do something for international relations let's start by qualifying Now this is where we won with the FNDY truck. What a good victory that. It felt like a good lap this as well. Let's see where we uh, end up. Looks like we could have a good day race. Grant Enfinger qualified on the pole, and we're all at what? Only about seven tenths off him? This should be good. Back under the lights at Iowa. Green flag in the air, let's go short track racing. And already Tyler Young and David Gill want to put me in the wall. We're going to push Smith past, try and push Smith past the Austin Wayne self. Smith tried to put us in the wall. Three wide in front of us. That's Cody Coughlin coming down on us. Tyler Young wanted a piece of the action. We're going to sneak past Austin Wayne Self here who tried to turn us. That didn't work for you, did it? Now you do not want to be on the outside of JJ Yaley. Yaley will try and put you in the wall. So we'll just try sneak past Cindric, and we have done. Give him plenty of respect, plenty of room. And we're up onto the verge of the playoff points. The person guarding the playoff points, though, just happens to want to wreck us every time. See that? And we just give him a shot into eighth place. I wonder if you appreciate that. Sneak under Chris Bell. And Truex. And Chris Bell still sneak back under us. In fact, he's snuck under so much he hit us inside. I think we should repay the favour. We should do. But we're the better person. Whoa! Apart from when we did that. A 
caution perhaps. How is that not a caution? Can somebody explain that one to me? Looks like Jennifer Joe's at the back of the field here. Nope, I'm wrong. So we got Matt Mills, who we're having to pass on the outside. And Spencer Boyd and Dowser around the outside of them. Chastain now. And TJ Bell. Who well, I think had an exceptional Dover. Don't think he was given the uh, the praise he was due for Dover. Coming up to Clay Greenfield. The leader is catching us, so. We've got to do our best to stay one lap up. We can't afford to be lapped. But if we do get lapped, just be the one that's uh, the lucky dog. We almost lost it again. Right, the end, stay away from the yellow line. Treat that yellow line like it's... Poison. To go around Corbin Forrester. Oh no, it's Schneider. Give Schneider room. We gave Schneider plenty of room there. He was the one that was bumping into us. As we uh, rub doors with Corbin Forrester, we finally got that move done. The leader is catching us at a dramatic rate. I have this horrible feeling that we're going to be lapped. So we just got to fight and try to stay on the lead lap. As we come up to Wendell Chavis. And now the boss lady. Who's not very happy with me at the minute. Whoa! Oof, we almost got close then. To contact with the boss. That would have really annoyed her. We're going to clear the boss lady. Now the leader is about seven seconds behind us, so we've got to get a move on. Might even be closer than that, actually.
short track racing, so underrated. Gap seems to be holding now to the leader. In fact, we may just uh, be catching up to him a little. As we uh, get the back end all out of shape. Come up to Austin Hill and Tommy Joe Martin who are fighting each other hard. Drive off the corner. Get a sneak under Tommy Joe into turn one and two. The leader is catching us. Chances are we're going to go a lap down. So if we are, we've got to be the first car that is the lap down. So it's going to be a bit of a struggle today, I think. I know they're going to have said struggles before and we come out smelling like uh, the proverbial bunch of roses, don't we? to Quapple now. This, will, this won't be an easy pass with Quapple. He will try to make life difficult for us. So if we're going to pass him, we've got to pass him underneath him. Set this one up. That was a good pass. Next up, Joe Nemechek. Again, another one was set up lovely. See, we've raced everyone clean at the minute. Is it possible we've turned over a new leaf? As we have 31 to go. Stage is so long. I think they're what, 60, 60, 80, I think. It's a 200 lap race. Right, the leader's in traffic, so he must be at Tommy Joe and. Uh, blah, 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 who was with Tommy Joe? I can't remember who's with Tommy Joe now. But the problem is now we're coming up to lap the trucks that we've passed already. Except Tyler Young here is for position, as is Regan Smith. 
but then there's a truck in front that I'm, I would be really anxious to clear in Austin Wayne self. Car truck just feels a little tight as well, so I might want to consider loosening it up. Although maybe not loosen it up too much. We're set young up, I think. Wayne Self struggling to get past uh, Dowser and Boyd. That's how it's done. <laughs> now, let's use Matt Mills to sneak past Austin Wayne Self on the bottom. Hello! Everyone wave at the Texan as you go past him. But remember to use all your fingers. I will do everything to make sure I stay on the lead lap here. As we see, is that Cindric or is that Frisco? It's with TJ Bell, whoever he is. TJ's not making it easy to pass. Is that TJ? Yes. It's the white truck, so it's Cindric. position. The lead is only two seconds behind, three seconds behind me now, so I can see him, physically see him in the mirror. Driver under Chastain. Set up Cindric for turn one. Or maybe not. Should we go turn four instead? That was a good move. Give Cindric room, we should get the move done in turn one. And that's up to what position now? 13th. Not bad for a truck that's uh, got lots of aero damage on the front nose. Mr. Gilliland. Got one of the tall sport trucks in front of him. I think that's going to be Cody Coughlin. But I think the other tall sport truck's in the lead. In fact, they go three wide with that other truck. Do I want to get involved in that, really? to that question is obviously no. Well, 
Leader is the leader. Leader is dropping. We're catching the leader. Series at Cody Coughlin up for turn one without putting it in the wall. Good drive through the corner. Cody Coughlin might be a little far away this lap, but uh, we'll certainly get him on the next lap, I think, or maybe we can get him in the next corner. He's trying to lap Corbin Forrester, see if I can take him by surprise. Oh, great run. Should get him in turn four. And then set up Gilliland in turn one. If he's not too busy, try to pass Spencer Boyd. Or Snyder even. Right, so who's the next truck? Ryan Truex, it's that white truck, and then the gaps start to uh, increase exponentially. So we are actually, if you think about it, fighting Truex for a playoff point. Sorry, stage point. The playoff point you get for... Uh, if you win the stage. The main thing is though, we will stay on the lead lap at the moment. Truex was thinking low, he's got to think of a different way because we're going to pass Truex and get Sheamus. And that is us into the top 10. We got a playoff point! Stage point, even. Eight to go in this first stage. to the back of Jennifer Joe. I think we should maintain the lead lap. And then when we do, we are diving into the pits because we've got to repair that truck. Yes, we're playing a little stage strategy again. I think you've got to Iowa. As the leader is gaining on us exponentially. Well, if he does pass us, the good news is we're the first trucker lapped out. So we'll get the lucky dog. That's the good news. Are we catching oh, Yaley? We are, because Yaley's just there. Yaley's having his own troubles getting through uh, lap traffic. But 
what we're doing today, we're putting cars between us. Actually, I don't think that's Yaley, I think that's um, Dow's app. I know that's Matt Mills in the green truck. Two to go in this first stage. The leader is 23 seconds behind us, so he's one of those cars in my rear view that isn't that green car. White flag at this stage presented by Credit One Bank. I think that was a victory in itself, staying on the uh, white flag on the green lap. So we take 10th place and a stage point. Who was the leader? No one cares. Right, we're pitting. We are going to pit, loosen the truck up. And hopefully that will uh, do something for us. Right, so we dropped to 11th. Ryan Truex got the free pass. We stayed on the lead. Green uh, flag lap. Sorry, lead lap. We've got our truck fixed. Let's get back to it. And we've already spanked Cody Coughlin. Well, that was a mistake. Um, we won't pit. Well, so much for uh, keeping it clean. We probably uh, just angered the whole of the Torsport team. And now we've got Friesman and Yaley in front of us. And look for Coughlin. We were wrecking then. And now Truex is wrecking. And we're wrecking again! I think it was a mistake to loosen the truck up. I do. Well, sorry, let me correct myself. It was a mistake to loosen the truck up that much. Free wide with Coughlin and Bell. But the car wanted to snap loose on us. We give Cody Coughlin another how'd you do and we're through it tonight. Past Gilliland in the process. Right. I reckon if we can get past these two trucks, it's clear sailing. We know how much Yaley hates us. 
We know how much Friesman hates us. The one place I don't want to be is on the outside of Yaley. Because he's going to try and put us in the wall. Oh dear. Well, that's going to knock him. Right, we've got to pit. Tighten that truck back up. Because uh, it was going nowhere. Did anyone else pit? No. Not on the lead lap, at least, anyway. So hopefully that should sort this truck out now. Get a bump from behind from, uh... Who's that? Quapple. Got to clear Yaley, got to clear Yaley. Oh, that's much better. It just needed a little adjustment. As we go under uh, Chris Bell. Let's go rubbers a little bit. Friesman thought about that then. We're going to get past Chase Briscoe, I think. Jesus, that's John Hunter Neymar. I thought I was going to be uh, Joe Neymar check then, but I forgot there's two Neymar checks in the field. Good run. And we've taken fifth place off Ben Rhodes. Haven't quite got the move done yet, but that should be a completed move. And out to Noah Gregson. Who is that in front of Noah Gregson? Is that... Uh, who actually is that? That's John Hunt and Ema check. Gregson goes past him, so we're going to set up John Hunter and then set Gregson up for the next corner. Just doored Gregson. That'll probably come back and bite us on the rear end. Let's try that move again. It's time. Not quite got the move done. Oh, that was a naughty one from Gregson. As we get up into Crafton, we didn't mean to do that. And it uh, looks like Gregson went in the pits. Oh, we just drove past Crafton with ease like he wasn't there. And I think Grant Ending is pitting. It'd be a shame if uh, I didn't have to pit this uh, stage. <laughs> so who's not pitted yet? Chase Briscoe's not pitted. Be 
very interested to see how many laps some of these go down. I think that's Gregson in front of me, so Gregson's one and a bit laps down. The only ones staying out so far are Truex and Sindrick. Someone went in the wall there, that looked like somebody had. Okay, so Truex and Sindrick are now starting to pit, so let's see who's that. That is Cody Coughlin. Oh, clear that truck quickly, it's Yaley. As we did our best Eldora impersonation through uh, that uh, truck corner. Take Yaley into turn one, no complaints here. And they clear self at the same time, which is a good thing. Got Truex and Briscoe in front of me. Oh, is that Sindrick? No, it should be Truex and Sindrick. to Sindrick is two laps down, everyone before Sindrick is a lap down. Racing Sindrick very fairly there. Now I do see Crafton. Along with John Hunt and Ibachek. The idea is I want to keep some of these trucks two laps down, so it makes it just between the select few of them. Obviously I would have liked them all to have gone two laps down in the first place. Who's that disappearing into the pits? Look at this, Boyd's having a race and a half, isn't he? Well, he could have warned me about that beforehand, or he could have got in the right bloody lane. Now I've got a lap Yaley again. Did that damage my car much? No. Sorry, I don't have to lap Yaley again. I've got to lap uh, Wayne Self first. He 
knowing Wayne's self, that's not going to be an easy pass. In fact, if I know Wayne's self, it's going to be a, one of those passes that... Uh, he'll try and do us no favours. See what I mean? Right, Cody Coughlin. We're halfway home. See, the more cars are put a lap down, the more that are going to stay a lap down. But I want to put, sorry, two laps down, I should say. It's the cars then you're only going to worry about that it's one lap down, because if I decide I want to pit at the end of this stage, they'll take the wave around. So we've got Coughlin Truex. I've got Mills and Forrester in front of me. Did you see them reactions from Truex? Car fall about snapping loose there, we just saved her. Todd Gilliland's in the pits, rip him. Truex is the first car two laps down. I think I see a problem here. Look at the car behind Truex in the rear view. I think that's Ben Rhodes. I'm kind of hoping it's not. Although if it is Ben Rhodes, then technically he's still on lap down because he's got to go around the whole circuit to catch me. We come up to the back of Chase Brith. No, this is Sidrick again. Sidrick's the one with the white. Sidrick's on! Whoa! Did you see that? Wow! That was a hit. Right. Do not pit and keep him a lap down. But obviously I forgot Ben Rhodes got the free pass. And now Crafton and Endfinger are going to want their lap back along with Chris Bell. It's not going to happen. But let's go free while we Crafton and Bell, why not? And we'll get really loose and that might let Ben Rhodes through. Where is Ben Rhodes? Oh, there are cars battering me. All right, they're all back on the lead lap now. Stupid. Okay, we're gonna pit. Gonna tighten it up again. And we're gonna take a full 
compliment. So we have dropped to nine. We've got six slaps left. Three wide with Coughlin and Briscoe. That truck I want to clear. That was the truck of Yaley. We're free wide with Edfinger and uh, Hunter Nibachek. Now free wide with Bell and Crafton. I don't think we can make it to the end just yet. But Gregson's going to try for the lead. And he's got the lead. Is Cindric in the pit? He must be. We've passed Ben Rhodes, almost. the truck in there. And fourth we take second place off Ben Rhodes. Now can we make up this gap to Briscoe? So Gregson. I don't think we're going to be able to unfortunately so it looks like Gregson's going to take the stage when we'll take second place. Is okay with me. Now the only problem is if I restart, he's going to be right behind me as Yaley. So we will not pit. So here we go, one stage to go for all the marbles, 77 to go across the stripe, we didn't go, everyone else went. And the tour sport trucks are coming. How many have we got on the fuel? 65 on the fuel, so we can't make it on fuel. We are going to have to pit under the green at some point. Unless a yellow comes out. And if that happens, we'll take advantage. Got it sideways then, and I've got it sideways as well. And that'll let through that Zen finger, putting me in the wall. Okay, now I do need a caution. Well, um, you've only got yourself to blame for that, Yaley. Just 
however, some of these trucks are not for position. Freezeman is. Coughlin behind me is not for position. But every truck in front of me now, so that's Rhodes, Gregson, Enfinger, Briscoe and Hunter Levercheck, that is for position. And if Yaley wants to come find me after the race, he's more than welcome to. I'll show the replay of him coming down on me and trying to put me in the wall. He bounced off me, I kept my line. Setting bent, Chase Briscoe up nicely here now. And we've got to move because Chris Bell's coming. That's one truck, you don't want chasing you down. And we're going to take Chase Briscoe, and that is into the top five. Not that it matters, because we haven't got the incentive contract anyway. We have Charlotte to thank for that. Still got Chris Bell chasing us down. Endfinger, although some will uh, argue with me, well, why are you catching them? Because you don't need to. They've got a pit yet. Yeah. Yes, but here's the thing with that. I have to pit too. We got 55 on the fuel. Let's see how many we got on the stripe this time by. 65. Well, 65 54. they come in they'll have the newer tyres as Enfinger and uh, Hunter Ibercheck start to get involved I'd like a piece of that action oh great run through one and two Building up a rhythm in this truck. I'm going to dip down on underneath the check and we're going to take fourth place. A 
and then set up end finger. Mr. Hunter Beaver checks given us a bump draft down the back straight. We are catching Gregson and Rhodes. Because they're having to fight lap traffic. Dow's at and we've got third place because Enfinger was stuck in the traffic. Unfortunately, he wasn't stuck there very long. Right, now to catch Rhodes and Gregson while they're fighting this lap traffic. It's the one good thing about NASCAR. They don't have blue flags. You want to get around the traffic, you get around the traffic yourself. Now this could be uh, hard for them because they've got two trucks to pass now, or two trucks in a line. Three wide with Chastain. Looks like Ben Rhodes is going to clear. Whoever this lap truck is. Gregson is not. It looks like it's Clay Greenfield. But if he can't clear Greenfield. Well, he's coming outside now and into me. Come on, Forrester, come on, come on, come on, come on. Good boy. Oh god, it's Schneider. Right. Hmm, did we not get yellow for that? Someone else spun up and we'd have the yellow brought out. It would have took a hammer in there, I think. Yep. We're all clear, trying to catch Chris Bell. Somebody's gonna pit. Oh, 
almost lost it again. Coming up to Schneider again, I do see Schneider now. That's going to cause me a problem because Snyder is a Kyle Bus truck just like Bell. See what I mean? Greenfield nearly lost it then. But at least I got Schneider out of the way. Did not need Schneider. It would be the be all and end all. and smooth so at the nay pit put them a lap down hopefully I get a caution go sneak under Bell and Chavis here Now, look who's trying to help me out here. That's Enfinger. Fighting with the boss lady. Didn't put up much of a fight, did you? They see me coming, Jennifer. What is Peck doing? We're racing the boss lady clean. Just had a gig on myself then. Now Enfing is struggling to pass his that bell. No, he's passed him this time. Tatty Hill. I thought it was Bell. <coughs> I 
<coughs> well, we have 26 to go. I know they can't make it. Or can they? Sorry, 36 to go, not 26. Maybe they can make it. Maybe my truck's just getting rotten fuel mileage. I really should stop looking at that because that's going to do me no favours. Look at this. The end thing has got to get through. Hudson Ibercheck struggling to get through. I think this is why uh, I'm, I've caught up with the torque board. Trucks, because they just struggle through this. We're going to get end finger. Hope to leave a check is past this lot actually. Only because he's dad's the leader of the pack. Matt Mills just put me in the wall. Let's do something to him that he won't like. Working Tyler Young and Joe Nivacek. Should have about 30 to go. 29 actually, so not too far off. There's John Hunter Nivacek. Hang a second, we've lost someone. Where's Noah gone? There's Noah. <coughs> They're coming in for pits. <coughs> Excuse me. And the yellow is out. Right, we're going to pit. We're going to take two tyres, a can of fuel, and repair the car. And now it's going to be a sprint to the finish. So we've dropped now to sixth position. And it's totally got enough fuel to make it, now we do. Could have took only a can. Well, we did take a can, could have only took half a can. But it's better to be safe than sorry. And hopefully this strategy with the two tyres pays off. we got 23 to go. There's Enfinger and Nemechek battle for the lead. Yeah, you can keep that for now, I'm taking it here. Okay. 
Joe Nemechek just bumped draft me into the lead. So John Nemechek. Oh, he's got up the track. That might bring the caution out. It won't. Ready to go. See if we can pull away from Crafton. And then, sorry, anything to rebel. But I might need some help. This is so... Good, come on. We are pulling away now. I wonder if the guys in front of me that did pit did take tyres. If they didn't take tyres, then, uh, well, they're in trouble. the next race, Kentucky. One of the races I was actually worried about. Along with uh, Texas, but I should be worried about Charlotte, really. No, sorry, it was Texas in this five, wasn't it? It was Martinsville, Texas, Dover, Gateway, and... No. It was not Martinsville, it was... I'm getting confused here now. It's Kentucky, Iowa. Gateway, Dover, and Texas. Yeah. Because I did a double header with uh, Michigan. Do we see it some lap traffic right about now? But we may not see them. It doesn't matter the minute because we are pulling away from. There's a lap car there. I just saw one. We are pulling away. It's crafting an end finger and working together with uh, Chase Briscoe. They're dropping Christopher Bell. Now, I think Crafton is one of the first trucks that took two tyres. So it's in my best interests to... get these lap cars between me and him, me and Crafton. to go. Before we have a repeat winner at Iowa. Crap. 
Afton still two seconds behind. He's fighting with Chase Briscoe. We are catching Dows out of Mills, so that's good. Truck just wants to snap loose on us. Still got a pretty healthy gap to the crafter than Briscoe and Enfinger, I would say. to do something as we come up to Dow's act. Oh my God. There's another retired truck in there with uh, Gilliland. Didn't quite catch who it was a moment, it was Schneider. Because they'll never have to see Schneider again. Is Jennifer Jo. Looks like she's dropped a little bit. No, she's still in the 25th. As we get past uh, Jennifer Jo and Chris Boyd. We are putting a bit of distance now with four to go, coming up for three to go. Here's TJ Bell, see if we can drive around the outside of him. Oh, it wasn't Snyder. Don't go to the outside of Snyder. Two to go. Didn't want to have to do that to Corbin Forrester, but I knew what Snyder was going to do. As we come round turn three and four, it's going to be one to go this time by. We may get another lap car, we may not need to. In fact, we could cruise round to the line if we want, we're not going to. He might get in the way slightly, Craig. Clay Greenville, it doesn't matter, the white check is in the air. We win at Iowa. We won at Iowa and we didn't even win a stage. It was Joe Nemechek in the pits. Rip him. Oh, it's time to get paid. That's a nice haul. Six now. I bet it's still craft and leading. And just like 12 months ago, let's celebrate this stupendous victory. Just this time we're celebrating in a pig truck. They seem very happy with that. Gregson got the fastest lap. And led the most laps. We were the truck on the move. 
and it was a tough break for Divacek. But who won the race? That's all I'm saying. We have momentum again! Yay! Three great finishes in a row. And Syndrix left me a message. I wonder what this means. You've been doing really well out there. Keep up the momentum. Good job. Oh, thank you, Mr. Syndrix. Oh. I don't remember any coming together with Ben Road, so maybe he's going to congratulate me as well. Hey, you've been doing really well out there. Keep it up. And he does. That's nice of the pair of them. <laughs> Double header weekend. So we've got the truck race at Kentucky. So what's at the same race as the truck race from Kentucky? Let's go check the schedule. Now it could be a double header at Kentucky. I hope it's a double header at Kentucky, and if it is, we're going to sort ourselves out accordingly. Well, it must be because we haven't been entered into Daytona or Iowa. So we must be doing Kentucky. So if we are, like I said, we'll sort that out accordingly. So until the next time, thank you all very much for watching. Let's go check rivals. See ya. So even though Cedric's a rival, he, he wished as well. I think everyone's a rival now. <laughs> Apart from Jennifer Joe. And Ross Chastain. Who's who's my best mate now as well. <laughs> Apparently. So uh yeah. Until next time, thank you all very much for watching, and we'll see you free wide in Victory Lane. <laughs>